Channel Security ni making about 800 USD ke tiga belas ribu setiap bulan. Jom tengok bagaimana kita juga boleh create this type of YouTube channel. Buat duit dengan YouTube by using chat GPT dan anda tidak perlu tunjuk muka. Let's go. I will start a YouTube challenge di mana saya akan bina YouTube channel dengan bantuan chat GPT dan dalam 3 bulan, goal saya adalah untuk hit 100,000 views dengan YouTube channel baru ini. So make sure anda subscribe ke YouTube channel Wing ini untuk keep track on my updated results, tricks, hacks dan juga strategi yang saya akan guna untuk bina YouTube channel baru saya dengan bantuan chat GPT. So sekarang jom tengok bagaimana kita boleh build our YouTube channel dengan chat GPT. First thing first, niche. Which niche do you want to create untuk YouTube channel anda? Head to chat GPT. Jika anda belum tahu lagi bagaimana nak register chat GPT ini, anda boleh tengok video ini. Link juga ada kat bawah comment box video ini. Alright, so you can type in something like what is the top YouTube niche to start in 2023 and let ChatGPT suggest kepada anda. So we have gaming, health and fitness, beauty, um, nothing interesting over here for me. Let's do another round of search. So I will ask ChatGPT to give some more general answer. So give us top hundreds YouTube niche. Yeah, awesome. So ChatGPT ini dia akan recommend 100 top YouTube niche yang kita boleh create. So let me go through the list. Now keep in mind, sangat sangat important. So, saya nak cari niche yang saya tidak perlu tunjuk muka. So, I can just add voice and also video on photos onto my YouTube channel yang saya tidak perlu tunjuk muka. So, niche ini book reviews and recommendation is a good one di mana saya tidak perlu tunjuk muka untuk buat video jenis ini. I just have to voice over and put some videos and photos then um, yeah, to create this kind of videos. So book reviews video adalah seperti ini di mana saya summarize a book content. Saya juga pernah buat video seperti ini kat YouTube channel saya. So it's pretty easy to do it. Once we have the niche, next kita perlu cari content untuk video kita. So channel seperti ini making about 800 USD to 13,000 a month. Dan banyak lagi book summary channel kat YouTube yang kita boleh guna as a reference. Bagaimana kita nak tahu apakah buku yang kita perlu reviews yang sedang hot kat dalam market. So, we have to know what sort of books that a lot of people are actually reading. Kita boleh guna chat GPT untuk tujuan sini. So, let's try what is the top 50 books that people read online. So, chat GPT akan bagi kita top buku yang orang sedang baca online. And yeah, here we go. These are the top 50 books that we want to do a video review and upload ke YouTube channel kita. I will start with the first one. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. So kita perlu ada satu summarize of this buku untuk create the content, right? So kita tidak perlu baca the whole books to get the summary. All we have to do is just type in kat GPT. Summarize Mockingbird by Harper Lee in 1,500 words. So 100, so 1,500 words adalah sama dengan lebih kurang 3 to 4 minutes of the video. So just let ChatGPT um to write all of the things for us. First of all, I do not suggest kita just buta buta copy and paste whatever that generated by ChatGPT. You can change some of the wordings over here and there, and also you can rephrase it. So that um, it looks more natural and also more original. So once this is done, next, voice over. Kita dapat beberapa cara yang kita boleh guna untuk voice over. The first one will be, anda boleh upah freelancer untuk buat voice over anda. 
So pretty curve Fiverr. Another way, Upa freelancer to do it um, over here. Typically, it will take about 50 USD to 100 USD per video. Cherry Yang Kedua, which is free. And that boleh voice over by yourself. Just take a handphone and just record your voice by reading a script. Jika anda nak Upa freelancer voice over di Malaysia, anda juga boleh dapatkan kat app Shifty ini. Just type in voice over and you will get the options here. Last but not least, yang paling murah dan paling jimat masa adalah dengan guna AI voiceover. So, AI voiceover yang saya sedang guna sekarang adalah Play-HT. Anda boleh register secara percuma and try it out. Link ada kat bawah video ini. So, package yang saya beli adalah 39 USD which is very affordable di mana kita boleh create estimated around 33 videos dalam sebulan dengan 1,500 wording. So, it is super, super affordable compared dengan upah freelancer. So, if we hire a freelancer per video dah 50 USD ke 100 USD. Tapi dengan AI voice over ini, 33 videos baru 39 USD. So, memang berbaloi. You can try it out for free at the link below. Take note though, dengan teknologi AI voice sekarang, kita tidak dapat create a very, very natural voice of human yet. So if you still sound a bit um, robotic, so hopefully kita akan dapat lebih baik quality voice over soon with this AI. So lepas register, log in ke play.ht anda. All we need to do now is just copy article ini from ChatGPT dan paste ke voiceover AI ini. Click on create audio. So there are two options, ultra and also this um, premium thingy. Depends on which program you get. The one that I'm having here is our premium. So I will choose premium, paste it here. At the top over here, kita boleh choose languages yang kita nak. Gender and we also have kids voice over here. So depend on which package, premium kita boleh dapat lagi high quality voice. So I'm on standard. So far, I suka voice material ini. So I will just stick with it. What this play.htai voice will do is that it akan bantu kita untuk voice over the whole article. So kita tidak perlu buat apa-apa voice over. Now there is a um, disadvantage over here. As I mentioned before, AI sound now cannot be 100% separately human. So it will still sound a bit um, robotic. So once this is done, go to convert to speech and what's over are uh, pretty much done. Next, when this is all done, download the whole voice over. Next is creating a video. Depend on which video editing software yang anda sedang guna. I'm using Filmora. So open up your video editing software. Upload the voice to your video editing software and um, next we want to add speech to text to my video. So what does the speech to text do is that um, if you actually auto create the captions, the wording to my video over here. So it's like um subtitle. So people are much more easier to watch and read at the same time when they're watching your videos. Sometimes the subtitle is not the same with the audio, but it's okay. We can easily fix this. Just go to um, advance and manually put in the missing part and then um, we are good to go. And when this is done, the next thing that we are going to do is to fill up this voice over using videos, photos, whatever. Depends on Apple software, video editing software and Laguna. Filmora already integrated with Pixel and Pixabay and also Giphy. So I will directly use the video or photos over here. Just drag and drop. Very, very simple. So I will be doing this now. I will see you in a while. A few moments later. So once everything done, pretty cool, right? Just upload it to your YouTube channel. Now, there are a lot of things that um, kita perlu buat sebelum kita upload our video. Separately, the title, the description of the video. I will not go through this in this video. If you want to learn, feel free to comment about our video ini. Then I will share a bit more. Now, by uploading one or two videos in a week or in a month will not help you to see any result. If you are new, dengan cara AI yang senang ini, we can easily upload three to five videos every single day. Alright? So, by consistently uploading your videos, try different, different topic, ways to produce your videos, it will generate results.
All the best to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know by our comment box video. video in. See you guys in take care.